At the eastern tip of Long Island, a daughter, a husband, a mother, and a father each play a role in keeping a local landmark alive. What's your typical day like on the job here? Our typical day starts about 8 o'clock. We'll get the coffee ready, put the baked goods out. Um, our most popular uh, baked good these days is blueberry muffins, so we've got to stick those in the oven. Get the newspapers going, we see the regulars rolling in. Usually we have people that we can count on to be here right at opening for their coffee or their tea or their newspaper. I'm Miriam Foster, the owner and head baker of the Orient Country Store. What's the origin story of this place? How did it get started? On site, this has been a general store for 250 years. My husband and I have only been the owners for the last 10, but we came from Massachusetts. We graduated uh, liberal arts colleges with a degree in arts and a securitist route led us here to Orient. And tell me a little bit about Orient. It looks to me like a movie set. Orient is a sleepy little town. You know your neighbors, they know you, but it's not, I, I haven't experienced the kind of small town hijinks that goes on, you know, I don't. I'm an open book, so it doesn't matter that everybody knows my business. Okay. <laughs> um, but I can see how it would be a little chafing if you were a private person. Yeah. When we came here 10 years ago, the neighbors were so welcoming, so generous, so interested in us, so solicitous. They really took a chance on us. We were young. My husband and I were 24 when we took over. Wow. And then you have your family here today, right? Yes, my parents work for me and of course my husband in the kitchen. And usually my three-year-old twins are running around. <laughs> How long have your parents been helping out? Oh gosh. Just There's one there. <laughs> I guess, in the, in the wild. They've been here the whole time. They... Too long. <laughs> Too long. What's it like to work for your daughter? Well, we never would have entered into this if it hadn't been for her skills as a baker. And oh yeah. Grayson's as a savory person because Dinah and I just, we're retired lawyers, so we know about running things. We don't know how to make things. Okay. <laughs> so it's like two sides of the same, right. She's yeah. great at making things. That's great. Yeah. And dad has a chocolate chip cookie addiction, so that's a good way to hook up. <laughs> hey, can you just type the smell right into our house? I'll talk to Yankee Candle about it can't really get away from here without a bit of a conversation. Yeah. So, um, it's not for the introvert. What's the charge, Jim? It seems like you know so many of the customers by name. I hear you calling yes. to them. It's such an important thing for me to make it personal for everybody. My mom likes to say her favorite customers are the first timers. Oh yeah. And it's it's a little obvious they come in and they look around and they're in that time capsule thing there like that. <laughs> because it's not every store that you come into has this kind of service and, and environment. Did you ever imagine when you were an art student that this would be your path in life? Uh, no. <laughs> no and how has it been for you with your young family running this place? It's great. I mean, the kids come and visit, hopefully before the lunch rush, yeah. and <laughs> live right down the road. What do you think is your favorite part of the job? Probably eating Miriam's big. <laughs> right?